Hi Virgo! Thanks for showing up to watch your May general reading. So we're going to do a general theme, what's up for money, a little bit about career, how other people make your month better, and how they make it worse. We are going to look at um, what you can do to have the happiest month ever, and I'm going to give you your crystal of the month. So let's get started! I keep forgetting to mention this, but for those of you who um, don't know, if you go to my website, and there's like a link in the description box below, you can sign up to win a free reading every month. And so like you just sign up once and you're automatically in the drawing for EverStyle. And so I just wanted to let you know. Virgos. Okay, so here's the deal. I have this ringing in my right ear, which means to me that you are totally on the right path. And um, I'm just really, really excited now to do this reading for you. Also, I'm really excited to do this reading for you because I just really love the cards that I picked, these specific decks. So I have the feeling this is going to be a very good month. Um, what's your general theme? And they're like trying new things, but then also like turning to spirit when you're having difficulties, okay? So it's really hard sometimes to like understand like other people's motivations, why they do things that they do. And um, like sometimes people hurt us, right? Like the things that they say specifically, like their words are really painful. Um, but we need to sort of like try really, really hard to monitor that. Like if somebody lashes out, we've got to be like, okay, you know what? That's more about them and their mood and whatever happened to them today than it is about me. But then also being careful, like with the way that we're communicating with others, we need to um, try really hard to like adopt a more positive communication with others. And so when I was talking about like trying new things, we want to try new things in the communication arena. Um, okay. So we're not leaning on spirit necessarily to help us overcome our difficulties. That's a challenge for us this month. So we have to be grateful for the times that are hard because they either teach us something or they push us onto a better path. Like all of these psychological studies show that if you ask people who went through some serious trauma, you say, what was the worst thing that ever happened to you? And then you ask them what was the best thing that ever happened to you? It's the same exact item. Why? It felt like shit in the moment that it happened, but it taught you something or it put you on a different path in life that is more spiritually aligned with who you are. So give gratitude for the things that suck. How do you do that? I got laid off from my job. Um, that sucked. How can I express gratitude? Because now I can say thank you for the opportunity to find a job that is better, one that is higher paying, one that I like more, one that has better hours. Thank you for the opportunity this presents, right? There's, you can decide to be thankful or negative about anything in your life. And so there's ups and downs and ultimately we're going to be a lot happier. We're going to vibrate at a higher level and therefore attract the things that we desire a lot easier if we opt for the positive. All right. So those are your general themes. Now, looking specifically at your money for May, Virgo, it's saying, um, if you're able to do that, to lean on spirit, to like overcome your challenges and stuff like that, if your heart just like lights up and your spirituality, new beginnings are coming and it's um, more aligned with your actual passions. And so kind of going back to that example I gave you about maybe you get laid off. Okay, good. I am so fucking thrilled that I can take this new journey. My heart is completely in it, and I am passionate, and I am enthused, okay? Um, so anyway, they're saying um, you're going to come into, if you're, especially like if you're doing a new business, um, but it's the same thing, like, in regards to money opportunities in general, this could be in the workplace, or, um, you know, it, this could play out a lot different ways because there's like thousands of Virgos. <laughs> but my point is, is that um, spirit, because of three, 
like an archangel, like Michael or like a prophet like Jesus or Moses or somebody stepping in and they're going to put somebody in your path that you want to join forces with because this partnership or this alliance is going to work out very well for you financially. So this could come um, a few different ways. This could be you meet somebody who you fall madly in love with, you cohabitate, and now you have more money because you have two incomes. This could be that um, you work in sales, you meet somebody, and, uh, and they decide to like buy up all of your products and distribute them all over, and your commissions are out of this world. This could be that you meet somebody who um, has a similar interest, and you build a business together. This could be somebody that um, teaches you something you know, to improve um, the way that you invest your money. It could go in any direction, but spirit's going to put someone in front of you. So take advantage of that. Don't be in this energy of like, I can do it all myself. Even though, you know, Virgos are perfect and they can do everything themselves. It doesn't mean they should. <laughs> okay. Um, as far as career goes, what's up in May? Um, Oh, triumph, expansion, expect a promotion, expect bigger commissions. Um, you are just like riding high, you're riding fast. You have this passion and this enthusiasm like I talked about. Oh, I'm so excited for you. This is fantastic. You know what, Virgos, you're on fire this year. Bravo, lucky for you. Um, sevens are all about expansion, so fantastic. Um, it might not hit like immediately in May, but as the month progresses, you're going to see that the more that you rely on spirit, you spiritualize everything. You're like, yes, I'm expressing gratitude. The faster you're going to get more of these blessings, right? Things just expand. They compound, potentiate. Okay, so um, how are other people going to sort of like improve your month aside from that partnership or alliance? And they're saying... Um, they will help teach you things about spirituality. They will help you to find a balanced practice. Now, for some people, spirituality is, you know, reading tarot cards. For some people, it's prayer. For some people, it's gratitude journaling. For some people, it's yoga. For some people, it's walking because you're, like, meditating, like you're thinking, like you're processing shit as you're taking a walk by yourself through the woods or around your neighborhood. It's different for every person. Um, some people, it's through dreams. But basically, there are going to be people in your path that help you to find a more balanced way to practice your spirituality, um, maybe it's even me. You could join Patreon. <laughs> but my point is, is um, that's going to make your month much better if you're like kind of aware of that. And again, you let those people help you, help you to find that balance, to set some goals or whatever. Um, how are other people going to potentially put like a damper on your month? Um, well, it says, you know, because other people have their own drama and stuff and they're going to kind of like suck you in it or like put you down or talk negatively to you like we started with this reading, um, you get to decide like are you going to allow them to like push you down the stairs to keep falling and falling and falling or are you going to put your, your hand on this wall here where these people are climbing up? Do you see that? Like he sees the light and he decides I'm going to put my hand on this wall where all of these people have climbed up before, knowing that there's like hope there, that it's possible, that you just have to like kind of turn around and do that. So ultimately, like what other people say, you get to decide, is it going to affect me negatively or am I just gonna make like a positive decision for myself? So-and-so called me a bitch. Okay, well, I don't care. I'm just gonna like keep doing what I'm doing because it's working for me. I'm a Virgo, and my May is amazing. My past few months have been amazing. Let's be real, okay? So, um, in regards to, like, spirituality, where should you be applying your focus? And they're saying a lot of you will, like, kind of have, like, spiritual experiences through creating things, through art. Now, um, art can be anything. It could be doodling. It could be writing. Like, maybe that's your art. It could be music. It could be... Um, you know, like making YouTube videos, <laughs> could be digitally designing things. It could be, you know, rearranging your house. But you're going to find like the spiritual connection and kind of like be in the zone. And that's where we get these like clear cognizant messages um, when you're focused on things that are creative. So I would encourage you to find some time for things like that this month. Um, so your crystal of the month actually is tourmaline, which might be hard to see on a black background. 
Um, this is the smaller tourmaline that I have on the website. But anyway, what is tourmaline for? No, it's really helpful to get you grounded into reality. I'm sorry if you can hear the, like, the lawnmower guys. Um, they're really close to the window right now. So anyway, um, it repels negative energies of other people. So that's what I was saying. Like the only negative thing this month is like other people might be kind of crabby or say mean things to you. Um, but it's not really about you. So this just like pushes that energy away and they're less inclined to speak that way. Um, so it helps you to heal. It gets rid of like electromagnetic, uh, vibrational shit. So for example, um, we all know you're not supposed to stand in front of a microwave. If you do it for too long, um, using a tourmaline will kind of like get rid of whatever kind of bad vibes we picked up from that or like spending too much time in front of the TV or computer or whatever. Um, it's protective, but it's very, very helpful with business. And as we were talking about money and career, and how you're expanding and you're meeting the right people, this might be the exact stone that you need. It prevents insanity. <laughs> That's always good. Um, but it helps you to feel serene and sort of like neutral. It helps you with your reasoning, with your logic. So anyway, um, it does a lot of other shit too. It can like um, kind of help your skin with scarring. And But you can learn more about it at my website. If you want to get one there, awesome. If you want to get one at your local shop, awesome. It's your crystal of the month. So check it out. Love and light. And I will see you soon for love readings. Thanks so much for watching this video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20 minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!